Hello everyone, my name is Lung Jin Shai Wan Yang and currently I am doing my MSc in Physics from Assam Don Bosco University. Here in this video, I will discuss about photoelectric effect, its experimental study and the various factors on which it depends. This is one of the topics that I have taken from 12 standards. So, what is photoelectric effect? Let's look into the definition. Photoelectric effect refers to what happens when electrons are emitted from a material that has absorbed electromagnetic radiation. Here, electrically charged particles are released from or within a material when it absorbs electromagnetic radiation. In simple words, photoelectric effect is often defined as the ejection of electrons from a metal plate when light falls on it. The radiant energy, that is the incident light, uh, may be infrared, visible or ultraviolet light, X-rays or gamma rays. The material on which the light incident uh, may be a solid, liquid or gas, and the release particles may be ions, electrically charged atoms or molecules, as well as electrons. This is the diagram showing the phenomenon of photoelectric effect. When light or photon when light or photon when light or photon falls on a material surface, uh, some electrons in the surface absorb enough energy from the incident photon to overcome the attraction of the positive ions in the material of the surface. Uh, after the electrons gain uh, sufficient energy from the incident uh, photon, uh, they will be escaped uh, from the uh, surface of the material into the surrounding space and they are called as photoelectron. Here, H is the photon, W is the work function and EK is the kinetic energy of photoelectron. Experimental study of photoelectric effect. The diagram shows the arrangement used for the experimental study of photoelectric effect. It consists of an evacuated glass tube. Here is the evacuated glass tube. So it consists of this uh, evacuated glass tube <coughs> having a photosensitive cell photosensitive plate C and uh, an inner plate A. Light from the source S, this is the S, light from the source S uh, pass through the window W and falls on the photosensitive plate C. Here uh, the electrons are emitted from the photosensitive plate C and, uh, and are collected by the plate A. That means uh, C is the the plate C is the emitter and the plate A is the collector. The battery here, the battery maintains the uh, potential difference between the plate C and A. The polarity of the plate C and A can be reversed with the help of the commutator. So the polarity between the plate C and A can be reversed with the help of this commutator. And the plate A can be maintained at a desired positive or negative potential with respect to emitter C. When the collector plate A is positive with respect to the, to the emitter plate C, the electrons are attracted to it, that is, they are attracted towards the plate A, and the emission of electrons causes the flow of electric current in the circuit. The potential difference between the emitter and collector plates is measured by a voltmeter. Here is the voltmeter, is the symbol for voltmeter. So the Mm -hmm. Potential difference is measured with the help of voltmeter, and where are the resulting uh, photocurrent uh, flowing in the 
circuit is uh, measured by a micro ammeter here it is symbol for micro ammeter and which is den denoted by mu a uh, the photoelectric current uh, can be increased or decreased uh, by varying the uh, by varying the potential of collector plate a and uh, with respect to the emitter plate c uh, the intensity, frequency of the incident light and the potential difference can be varied between uh, the emitter C and the collector A. Um, uh, we can use the experimental arrangement of above figure to study the variation or the relationship of photocurrent with intensity of radiation, uh, frequency of incident rotation, the potential difference between the plate A and C, the nature of the material of plate C. Light of different frequencies can be used by putting appropriate color filter or color glass in the part of light falling on the emitter C. The intensity of light is varied by changing the distance of the light source from the emitter. Stopping potential. Uh, the minimum negative potential or retarding potential denoted by V0 given to the plate A for which the photocurrent stops or becomes zero is called the cutoff or stopping potential that means a uh, st stopping potential is the potential uh, which is given to the plate a so that the uh, photo current uh, will stop or it will becomes zero saturation current saturation current corresponds uh, to the case when all the photoelectrons emitted from the photosensitive plate which is uh, the emitter reach uh, the collector plate reach the collector plate so here it means that all the uh, photoelectrons which are emitted from the uh, photosensitive plate and uh, they will reach uh, all the all of them will reach to the plate to the another plate that is the collector plate Thresh threshold frequency when light falls on the material no electron were emitted at all when the frequency of the incident light was smaller than a result certain minimum value called the threshold frequency this minimum frequency depends on the nature of the material that means when light uh, when light falls on the material uh, no no the electrons will not be ejected from the surface of the metal if the incident if the if the frequency of the incident light is less than the uh, threshold frequency but but only if the frequency of the incident light is equal or greater than the threshold frequency then ejection of electron from the metal will take place this minimum frequency de also depends on the nature of the material that means it depends on the type of the material on which the light incident to conclude I will summarize the features and observation described in this section or the factors on which photoelectric emissions depends for a given photosensitive material and frequency of incident radiation above the threshold frequency the photoelectric current is directly proportional to the intensity of incident light that means the photoelectric current depends on the intensity of the incident light 
for a given photosensitive material and frequency of incident radiation saturation current is found to be proportional to the intensity of incident radiation whereas the stopping potential is independent of its intensity that means the, the saturation current uh, depends on the intensity of incident radiation whereas the stopping potential is independent of its intensity for a given photosensitive material there exists a certain minimum cutoff frequency of the incident radiation called the threshold frequency below which no emission of photoelectron takes place no matter how intense the incident light is above the threshold frequency the stopping potential or the maximum kinetic energy of the emitted Photo electrons increases linearly with the frequency of the incident radiation but is independent of its intensity. That means that the stopping potential or the maximum kinetic energy of the emitted electrons depends on the frequency of the incident radiation but it's uh, independent on its intensity. The photoelectric emission is an instantaneous process without any apparent time lag, even when the incident radiation is very dim. That means that uh, when light falls on the falls on the surface of the metal electrons, uh, that means as soon as the as soon as the light falls on the surface of the metal uh, electrons will be ejected from the surface of the metal even when the incident even when the intensity of the incident radiation is very dim with this i have come to the end and i hope that this video will help you all thank you